Hello people, another beautiful day. Yep, hope your five senses work, health and strength is good or excellent. What? What's up Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion, what's good? Steam Deck Mob, what's happening? Steam Deck Squad, what's up? And you Steam Deck nerds, geeks and freaks, and you investigators, what's happening? Alright, now, let's get into this. We're talking about Steam OS, uh, Steam OS 3.5, 3.58 pre, uh, 3.58 preview, flatline. It says no, this update is for, is for Steam Deck preview channel, and includes new features that are being tested. You can opt into the settings system Steam update channel. General fix an issue where modifying settings in the desktop partition manager could prevent the SD card from being mounted and visible in Steam. Fix an issue in desktop mode where dropping a folder on the desktop would enormously create a shortcut for every item within the folder. Graphics and, per and performance. Fix performance overlay displaying GPU clock speed as an instantaneous management rather than an average resulting in misleading uh, number. This matches behavior of the SteamOS 3.4.11. Fix a problem with elevated noise level 4 track pads pressure sensors affect only certain configuration. Fix incorrect colors gamma using Steam in-house uh, Steam uh, uh, streaming. Fix a rear system crash on game exit. Fix an issue in certain HDR titles where wiggling the cursor on the same frame as closing the game would cause incorrect colors in subsequent game launches. Uh, improve situations where game frame presentation could block because buffer submit by Steam or other windows remove potential source of game stutters. Mm. When a game limiter and vSync is enabled, the performance overlay now shows frame timing based on when they are flipped on to display rather than when the GPU rendering would complain. The GPU based timing are still visible on level 4 settings. Fix an issue causing stuttering in certain games that buffer multiple frames in advance. Miscellaneous compositor performance improvements. And Let's see for this, um, and then for Steam Deck, uh, uh client update, <laughs> here's another one, <laughs> okay, uh, we, we just have shipped an update to Steam Deck client to stable, it says general, fix mouse click and overlay in Counter-Strike 2, fix an issue where over clock, overlock and family view and client would sometime not unlock checkout. Fix an issue where controller in info inter interstitial interstici could be scaled incorrect on Steam Deck or other small monitors. Fix an issue where VR games could be shown with controller required noti uh, notice along with no controller support. And then it says Steam input add support for. Nacon uh, Revolution Pro Controllers, fix Nintendo Joy-Con's gyro turn rate correctly, calibrates for natural angles were previously at 80% would, would turn would world turn rates, fix gyro to mode jumping when adding, removing action layer or switching action sets, fix Sony DualShock accelerometer reading was incorrect or connection via Bluetooth and then desktop mode, fix display of disk space available in added Steam library folders dialog, fix HDR visualization drop down in case where it's not supported. So yeah, and those are the updates for the uh, Steam, yeah, uh, deck and Linux desktop. So yeah, got you guys covered. You know, gaming on Linux got gaming on Linux got an article on this too. He said this. He said, uh, Valve release a fresh Steam OS update into preview for Steam Deck with Steam OS 3.5.8, uh, fixing up various problems since big 3.5 update. One issue that's concerning players that was reported a lot was 
the performance overlay GPU speed flipping between a low and high number which should solve one of the improving performance in some areas and general bug fixes. General fix an issue where modifying setting and desktop partition manager will prevent the SD card from being mounted in visible steam. Fix an issue with desktop mode where dropping the folder. The desktop would er er erroneously create a shortcut for every item within the folder. Graphics performance. Fix the performance overlay displaying GPU clock speed as an instantaneous measurement rather than an average, resulting in misleading numbers. The matches behavior of Steam.4.11, SteamOS, and it says fix a problem with elevated noise level trackpad pressure sensor affected only certain configuration. Fix incorrect colors when using Steam in-house streaming. Fix a rear system crash on game system exit. Fix an issue in certain HDR titles where wiggling the cursor on the same frame as closing the game would cause incorrect colors in subsequent game launches. Improve situation where a game frame presentation would block because of buffer submitted by Steam or other windows removing potential source of game stutters when the frame limiter or vsync is enabled. Performance overlay now shows frame timing based on when they flip to display rather than when the GPU rendering was completed. The GPU based timing are still visible on level 4 settings. Fix an issue causing stutter in certain games that buffer multiple frames in advance. Miscellaneous compositive performance improvements. And that is that. <laughs> Those are the updates for the Steam Deck uh, 3.5.8 in preview. So, yeah. You guys are, uh, what's that word I'm looking for? Good. <laughs> yeah, I had to keep you guys up to date on what's going on. But anyway, so that should improve a lot of things on the Steam Deck and Linux desktop. So, yeah, make your gaming experience more better. Yep. Anyway, I'm going to leave, a vid leave this video for you all to enjoy. Nice talking to you people again. Chris, still Star Wars and Star Trek thing. Dark side. Oh.